doo doo f- scares the hell out of Big Share. What is it, Ed? What is that? What is it? Psychopath behavior in its purest form. What do you think of a death row felons in their last meals? Oh. Whoa, this is not what I thought we were gonna do. <laughs> okay, so we've had some strange dishes mm-hmm. from super simple mm-hmm. to like really nice ones, but yeah. well, I guess we'll find out. He doesn't look familiar at all to me. He looks really serious. He's, he looks chillin', but I feel like you're gonna tell me he did some crazy sh- Well, Dustin Higgs is currently the most recent person executed by the U.S. federal government. His case, conviction, and execution are the subject of multiple controversies as he was involved in a murder case, but he did not, in fact, commit the crime. He was waiting in a car nearby. Oh, okay. The prosecution argued that Higgs was the ringleader bullying Wills Marks Haynes into committing the murders, and he was sentenced to death. Oh, my God. That's kind of wild. Okay. So is Charles Manson. It's not delivery, it's death row. (laughs) For his last meal, he requested pizza, a strawberry shake, and jelly-filled donuts. More donuts, bitch. (laughs) They messed up his order and forgot the donuts. Are you kidding me? I love jelly-filled donuts, too. I'd be so sad. His final words were, what's with that? That should be fixed. Uh, I, well, uh, I mean, he got a point. Uh, that's hilarious. That's someone who has accepted their fate. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at the Karens who, like, their order just gets messed up and they throw a fit. It's not something extravagant. I feel like pizza's a pretty safe choice. It's hard to go wrong, but they did go wrong. <laughs> People don't get comforted by extravagant meals. So on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being your favorite, what would you rate this and why? Um, eight. I'm gonna have to give this an eight because the combination of the two. You know, I just, a five because they just didn't give me the donut. They forgot the donut. I just remembered. I'm gonna do a five. I'm gonna- I would give this a four. Um, the milkshake's not doing it at all for me. I feel like this is a solid three. I'm gonna give it a ten because I don't want him to be upset with my answer and come and haunt me. <laughs> Bitch is guilty. She looks like a flapper from like the 20s. She's guilty of having the best <laughs> jawline in history. Oh, Doesn't look very menacing or anything mm-hmm. like that, in my opinion, at least. A crime of passion. Ooh. Mm. Ruth Snyder, along with her lover, Henry Judd Gray, murdered her husband, Albert, after obviously purchasing a good life insurance policy. Oh my gosh. Mm. It took them seven attempts before they got it right. They tried to kill this man seven times. You know what, at this point, that's Albert's fault. Snyder was executed at Sing Sing just 10 minutes before her now ex-lover, Gray, who turned on her during the trial saying it was all her fault. Ooh, Gray. Ouch. Smart man. Both of them received the death penalty. Oh, (laughs) not that smart. (laughs) Don't start eating. I won't. I wasn't really I, talking to I was her. like, I know you're talking to her. <laughs> you see that there's a milkshake coming. Chicken Parmesan with Alfredo pasta, ice cream, a milkshake, and grape soda. That's a meal right there. She said, give me all the dairy. I'm gonna vomit looking at it. I'm so giddy with this meal right now. <laughs> She's so happy. Really happy. Stop f-ing hitching your wagon to a dude. If you're gonna kill someone, just kill him for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't kill people. Nicole, I've never tried grape soda before. Cheers. Cheers. Thumbs up. And one sip's all I need. It's all tasting together. Well, it's It's not good. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. Again, I'm going with a 10 so I don't get haunted. (laughs) But I feel like just this right here would be a 10. So with these included, we'll take it down to an eight. This to me would be a 10 out of 10 meal. This is all fine to me besides the grape soda. I wanna say an eight, but that'd be copying you. So a seven. It really would. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a six. (laughs) Okay, I already don't like him, so. What portion? Oh! You know, I think it's I mean, glasses. No, glasses. I'm wearing glasses. What types of glasses. A model prisoner, a model convicted prisoner. child molester. Oh, hell no. And I was a close. Firm serial killer. <gasps> Douglas Franklin Wright has a trail of victims that spans over three decades. Decades! After first confessing to sexually assaulting more than 70 young boys in the early 70s. 70 young. Oh. He served eight years in prison. Upon release, he broke into the home of a friend of a family and murdered 71 year old Margaret Roddenberry Woman. and her granddaughter. Woman. Before abducting the five year old grandson who he oh, molested. Oh, I hate this guy so much. He was then sentenced to 35 years, but he was paroled in 1982 for good behavior. Oh, good behavior. They let him back out? What? 
Oops. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Sounds about white. Um. <laughs> but once he got out again in 1991, he murdered at least three, if not more, people and finally was given the death penalty. No, you did not. Ugh. I don't even want to eat it. Uh, me either. It looks like a turd. The serial killer's request was simple, one honey bun. He doesn't deserve a honey bun. And he doesn't even deserve For this. him just to only ask for a honey bun is like juvenile. This is something like that honey. I loved oh, and yeah. ate as a child. No <gasps> way. This makes a lot of sense. I can't explain exactly how, but it makes a lot of sense. If there was an inkling in me that wanted to taste this after that story, yeah. The system, the person, how many chances he got. Psychopath behavior in its purest form. You're not gonna taste this meal? No, it's a stupid honey bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this guy so much. And how are we rating his dish? Zero. Zero. Get out of here. Hot me, mother Ooh, this is gonna be a one for me, just on, on the basis of just, this man is trash and his choices are trash. It's a one. It's, it's a, a one, it, you easy. Wanna, you wanna have a last meal, you don't ask for a honey bun. I'm gonna give him a zero. Uh, f this guy, f this honey bun. Get oh. <laughs> A pair now? When Raymond Fernandez answered a Lonely Hearts ad in 1947 from uh -oh. Martha Beck, uh -oh. he had no idea he was meeting his criminal soulmate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, was, I, thought she, I thought he was gonna murder her. Oh, okay. yeah, I thought she was gonna murder him. Fernandez was a former merchant marine who served in the British intelligence during oh, World my. War II, but his life changed when an accidental injury injured his skull and frontal lobe. Oh my God, that's the whole thing, serial killers, frontal lobe accidents. Beck posed as his sister so that women would feel comfortable answering the ad, but she would become enraged and jealous if things ever got a little too, uh, intimate between him you and their what, victims. I'm gonna, stop, I'm gonna stop like complimenting them. <laughs> this is some kinky sh Like she gets jealous in the closet and then comes out and <laughs> they murder the, the girl. Ew. That's, a, That's real? It's a cigar. Mm. Oh! oh. Yeah, <laughs> Fernandez requested an onion omelet, french fries, chocolate candy, and Cuban cigar, whilst Beck went with fried chicken, potatoes, and salad. So this was her meal. Yeah. And this is his meal. This is from a diner she home cooked. I do not want a salad as a part of my last meal, though. Yeah, I'm like bored. Throw some hot sauce on that. That chef's kiss. All right, what would you rate these in a while? Let's start with Fernandez. I'm gonna go five because it's just sad diner. Ballsy for being like, yo, give me a cigar before you kill me. Uh, so I'll bump this up to like a five. I'm gonna give this a 10 and here's the reason why. I'm gonna give him a seven. The cigar. This. Yeah. I'm not gonna give him anything higher than a seven because he didn't get a drink. Um, this is a still low number. It's three for me and that's a two. I'm gonna do three and three. 10 because I feel like that was just some good home cooking. I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna give this a nine. I think I'm gonna go with a, a two. I mean, there's no part of this besides maybe the potatoes that I would enjoy. Yeah, this guy's looking rough. Guilty. Guilty. Edmund Zagorski lured two men into the woods under the pretense of selling them 100 pounds of marijuana before stealing the money, shooting them, and slitting their throats. That's a lot of weight. That, that's overkill. Okay. Right. <laughs> His last words? Let's rock. F you. What, what the hell is that? What? Huh? What is it, Ed? What is that? What is it? His last meal? Pickled ham hocks or pig knuckles and pig's tails. Which one's which? Honestly, I'm hoping it's a knuckle and not a knuckle. Oh. <laughs> it has lines of fat on it. Like, this is raw meat. This is meat. What did you just do? It makes me sad because their little tails are so cute and they just- And they're also out. so delicious. I mean, the entire oh. pig is cute. The pig's happy. It's just like- Stop. <laughs> I feel like you can shake it. It's just hair, is... hair of the beast oh <laughs> itself. So... There you go. Not that no. bad. This is pork. Ew. Come on, Serena, let's do it. No, do you, have you smelt it? Yeah, it smells horrible. <laughs> I like pickled stuff. I like pickled stuff. I don't know if I like pickled meat. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's not that bad. That's because of my yeah, gag Don't reflex. be dramatic. That's oh, <laughs> don't be dramatic. Uh, no, she's interested. She took a second bite. Ugh. I'm gonna go with a 
one. I mean, it's if, low for me, but still above the other foods. It's a four. Let's give it a let's give it a two because that wasn't that bad. Flavor wise, I'm gonna give this like a six. I'm gonna give this a uh, another zero. This should not be consumed by humans. Okay, so I don't absolutely guys. hate it. It's just caught me off guard because it was very vinegary. I will give this a five. I would have expected this to be the meal of the horrible child molester. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to the guy who killed some people he was gonna sell 100 pounds of pot to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I don't like God. it. It looks like, like he him. literally just like mouth kissed a woman against her will. I don't like that he's smiling. Yeah. In 1984, Ronnie Lee Gardner killed someone during a robbery gone wrong. But his bigger mistake, trying to escape from the courthouse with a smuggled revolver and shooting and killing an attorney at the courthouse. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh, steak and lobster. Ooh, fancy guy. Who's who's crazy? Oh, uh, wait. His last meal request was quite interesting: steak, lobster, apple pie a la mode, Seven Up. Before fasting for forty-eight hours and watching the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, he also read Divine Justice and said that the fast and screening were motivated for spiritual reasons. This man. Don't don't applaud him. They let this guy watch. The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Hell? I'm gonna be like, just send me to jail. Like, yeah, I want to watch Lord of the Rings. Damn. You could tell, like, with all of the other like crazy residual serial killers and the the like weird combinations that they did, this man was of this, sound mind. This is the only thing I. I, I mean, I still like. better than an onion omelet. You're right. I feel like lobster's like a classic, like final meal. Got yeah, a little surf and turf. I like it. Moment. I like it. All right. How would you rank this and why? It's a, this 10, is out a 10. ten. This, this is, is a, a ten. ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it's a seven. I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm gonna give it a one. So it's just the steak is the only good part for me. Um, this right here makes this an instant 10, okay? I am about to get my sh rocked on the internet, but I have never seen any of the Lord of the Rings films. What? Nor the? will I probably ever. Oh, uh, you should be on death row for that. <laughs> I mean, it's a bad photo, but you don't look bad in it. No. He's guilty of that hairline, my boy. What the hell? James Edward Smith was a tarot card reader and taxi driver. Okay, I love he, that for him. He shot and killed a bank teller in a heist. Don't, don't love, love that. Don't <laughs> love that for him. Also, like Ronnie Lee Gardner, he tried to escape from the courthouse, but was unsuccessful. <laughs> he was sentenced to death and waived all appeals to speed up his execution. He's quoted as saying, life is a temporary situation. The spirit True. moves on. True. Death is like eating a prune in the morning. It's a natural function. He literally just said that life is crap. What it? That's dirt. What is that? He made yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> so his last meal request was quite interesting. He asked for raccoon to dirt part of a voodoo ritual to assist in his reincarnation. No, nope, get it away from me. He was nope. denied as it was not on the list of approved foods. Nope. So he settled for some plain yogurt. I'm sorry, Nicole, did you say this was dirt from a graveyard? Which one? Oh. Oh <laughs> I think I'm gonna get be cursed now. <laughs> uh, no. The yogurt's fine. I, I, I don't care. I don't want anything associated with that. Oh, you hit us with the with the zero sugar, zero fat Greek yogurt. Plain yogurt. Voodoo <laughs> f scares the hell out of Big Share. Put it in the notes. Durian and voodoo. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter if I can, I can just try don't. it. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's just kidding. kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> the look on her face yeah. when she thought you were about to eat. Just like, you guys have I wonder what any graveyard it idea comes from. the bad juju that you just brought into my world. I don't want my dirt. He could have picked anything else and he settled on yogurt. That's sucks. That's, that's a, boring. That's a three. It's just plain yogurt, so I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a two. I wanna say seven for the dirt, but. It's fine, seven, seven it is. Seven it is. I'll give it a three as well. Give it, a, I'm gonna give it a nine. It's, it's, it's spooky season. We got the, we got the graveyard dirt. I'm gonna rate it a 10. <laughs> uh huh. Out of respect for where that came. We've tallied up the scores and uh, Ruth Snyder at the very least has the best taste in food. That makes sense to me. I mean, that's that's accurate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She yeah. deserves it. No. Really? Mm -mm. Really? I don't. I don't think I agree with that. Oh. Right. What? I mean, what else are you gonna do? Eat dirt? I, you wanna eat the dirt? No. Stop talking to me about the dirt. Okay. I can't even hear about this. Sorry. Anything else? 
No, don't eat the dirt! <laughs> I, I almost want to do it. Please don't Me eat too. the dirt! Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy learning about these unique last meals? Let us know in the comments below. And let us know what other challenges you want to see on People vs. Food. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace. Bye. Seriously, peace. Seriously, peace. <laughs> Seriously, peace be with all of you.